Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new release preview video. Today we're bringing you 2021 Bowman Chrome. This just showed up at my doorstep. We're going to open three master boxes today in this preview video. Inside each master box, there are two mini boxes. And then later on tonight, we've got a case break of this where we will be opening two cases of this product. So... Without further ado, let's go ahead and get this ripped open. You can see Key Brian Hayes is on the front of the box, along with Austin Martin, who uh, most of you are familiar with him from 2021 Bowman, as he was one of the big chase prospects in that release. Both the guys kind of under underperforming a little bit this year. A little disappointed personally with Key Brian Hayes. He like 258, not a lot of home runs this year, but he did have a broken wrist or a fractured wrist so that may have sapped his power. Austin Martin hasn't done as much as I would have hoped in the minors, but they're still young, still plenty of room to grow. So let's go ahead and open this up first. This is Jason's Master Box. Thank you very much, Jason. If you'd like to participate in any of our breaks, or live streams, check us out on Patreon. It is $4.99 per month to have access to our breaks. This break that we have tonight, still not sold out. There's still some spots available. I just posted a reminder video, or not video, but posting on Patreon for anybody that's interested. Now that we have the first mini box out, we will show you the odds, which are right there. You can pause it if you'd like to read through all of that. We'll also show you the no purchase necessary information as well that you can pause. So inside, there are going to be six packs, and there is going to be five cards per pack. So 30 cards per mini box. One of those cards is going to be a nice chrome auto. In terms of the set, there are a grand total of 100 base veterans and rookies in here, along with 100 prospects. And oh man, I hope Fuzzy's watching right now because he's going to need to go and grab this card. It is the first, I think this is the first official Tops Akil Badu rookie that I've seen. And that is a gorgeous looking card right there. Akil Badu. We'll just linger on that for just a second. So that's a name that some of you guys may be after. Your mean Mercedes has a rookie card as well. That's a rookie that's taken too long to get into packs. He'll be another one in update. Garrett Mitchell. We have Cade Cavalli. And last card there is Nolan Gorman in pack number one for Jason. Jason, thank you very much for buying into this. I appreciate you taking it. We've got a nice prospect coming up on the back. It's Yoki Cespedes. There's a numbered uh, Heston Kira. Or no, Keston Hira out of 499. Sorry, it's been a long day. I've been up since 530 in the morning. Helcrease. Olivares first. You're going to see some new first names in here. And Yoki Cespedes is the last one. Would love to find his autograph in one of these packs. That would be pretty nice. Next pack up, we have Malvin Valdez on the back. There's Matt Chapman. Buster Posey. And there's our autograph. It is a first. And it's a Carson Taylor. So a nice one right there. We're going to have six autos in this. It was a fourth round pick by the Dodgers in 2020. So a nice one right there. Always better to get position players, as most of you know. Um, then um, pitcher autos, usually the first first uh, bowling card of pitchers don't really always pan out. Nice Jordan Alvarez right there. Max Scherzer might end up winning the uh, Cy Young Award in the National League. There's Asa Lacey, Braden Shoemake, and Logan Gilbert to finish off that pack. The other packs here are just going to be kind of dead packs, I guess. There's a little gnat in here. I want to get a look at this, so we'll open these both up at the same time. Luis Campusano, rookie card. We've got a purple coming up. It is Asa Lacey, a purple shimmer. And let's flip it over and see if it's numbered or not. It is not numbered, but still a very nice one. He was the fourth overall pick by the Royals in the draft. There's a nice Ryan Mountcastle. Nice to see Topps using a different picture of Mountcastle on that card. It seems like a couple of his cards had a few of the same... Uh, Picture on there. That's a good one. Marco Luciano. Keep that name in your mind. He's going to be a very, very good player. Robert Powelson. We've all gotten familiar with him last year. So that's the first mini box in the books for Justin. He's got another one coming up. We'll see what he can find in this one. By the way, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Hope everybody's had a very nice Wednesday. Again, we'll be live later tonight. So make sure you tap that notification bell if you haven't already and click it to all. If you do so, whenever I post a video or go live, you'll get notified via the YouTube app. We had a Nice little impromptu surprise live stream last night, unannounced. I did a card auction last night. Um, auctioned off maybe about 50 to 60 cards. And um, got all those shipped out in the mail today. So um, worked on those last night after that sale was over. 
and um, they're all on the way to you guys now. So thank you everybody that participated in that. We'll have another one possibly this coming Sunday as I have loads and loads of cards from these subscription boxes I opened that I'm trying to move out and uh, downsize my collection and uh, focus on um, quality over quantity. Hoping to use some of the funds, maybe eventually go after some of the top rookies that I've never had. Alejandro Kirk was in the news with the Kevin Kiermeyer incident. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Kevin Kiermeyer got thrown out at home plate the other day. And uh, when he got thrown out at home plate upon the tag, the uh, the cheat sheet, so to speak, from Alejandro Kirk fell out of his wristband and basically right in front of Kevin Kiermeyer, he stole it and took it back to the dugout. And it basically had how they were going to pitch every uh, Rays player. And then, of course, um, the Rays would go and go on to win the game. I think it was 4-2 to two at the time of the incident, and the game ended at 6-4. So maybe people are making a little bit more out of it, but I don't know. It's uh, definitely a lot of uh, Blue Jays fans are really riled up about that. Andrew Vaughn, this is a great rookie card. This is another one that you want to take and put aside if you can find that one. We have an Emmanuel Rodriguez out of 499 first refractor from the Minnesota Twins. Nice one right there. There's Alexander Ramirez. Armando Cruz first as well. You Darvish, Joey Gallo. And we've got Franiel Baez. <coughs> Sorry. I guess I'm surprised to see this card. Had a little tickle in my throat right there. Franiel Baez, nice one right there. And again, another first position player auto. That's what you want, Jason. So Victor Acosta's got a nice card in this. His auto is just his base autos. I checked him out on eBay. They're going for about... A little over $100 a piece, so that's a name to keep in mind. There's Patrick Bailey. He was a number one pick by the um, Giants. Luis Robert, love that card. Austin Hendrick, that's a nice Dawn of Glory card right there. Robert Hassel. So we're getting a bunch of first-rounders here. Jordan Walker, William Contreras, rookie card. Tanner Houck, rookie. Tristan Casas, Luis Medina first. And Max Meyer, who was the number three overall pick in the 2020 draft. So pretty good box right there for Jason Next box up, we have, like I said, three of these bad boys. Richard Spencer is our next contestant. Come on down, Richard. Let's see what we can find for you. Hopefully, we can get you some good stuff. Do these two mini boxes. I'm not sure exactly what time I'll be live tonight. I'm hoping. I'm shooting for maybe around between maybe around 8 p.m. Eastern time or somewhere around there. We'll see. Opening up two full cases of Bowman Chrome. Pretty excited about the Bowman Chrome box I picked up this past week, and I picked up a box of 2011 Bowman Chrome for a future Throwback Thursday. That'll be a fun one. Looking for Mike Trout in there. We got a Torkelson on the back, Spencer Torkelson. If that's a name that is unfamiliar to you, get familiar with it. Spencer Torkelson was the number one overall pick in last year's draft. He is a slugging first baseman. He'll likely be in the major leagues before too long and helping out those Tigers who, honestly, if you're talking about who was the surprise team of 2021, you got to at least consider the Tigers for that. Who would have thought the Tigers would have been so competitive? In fact, if you eliminate their month of April, they'd be over a 500 team. We got J-Rod on the back, who I'm really high on, Julio Rodriguez. I can't wait for his rookie card to start coming out so I can grab up as many as I can of those. He's going to be a very, very nice prospect. There's a number two overall pick right there, Heston Kerstad. And there's Torkelson. So we got a number one and number two back-to-back. -back. Kind of cool how that worked out there. There's Aaron Judge again. You Darvish, we've got a Max Meyer. Good one right there. It's a gold out of 50. Again, top round pick right there. I think number three overall. Uh, Mookie Betts, and we got Miguel Blayas, first Bowen, yet another position player. Very, very nice stuff. We're getting a lot of these kind of like international free agents in here. Miguel Blayas for the Boston Red Sox. So, Richard, congrats on that bad boy. There's Victor Acosta one more time. Nick Madrigal, you're not, you're not going to see him too much longer in a White Sox uniform. He's now in the Cubbies. And let's see what we've got. A green coming up. It's speaking of the White Sox. It's a Jared Kelly. It's a green shimmer out of 99. Nice one right there. And there's the Austin Martin. That is the image that is on the front of the box. Austin Martin with the Blue Jays. Of course, shocking news, at least to me, that um, Austin Martin was traded away for Jose Barrios. But, you know, Blue Jays are going for it. And uh, we'll see if they make the wild card because of it. I hope that they do. I'm rooting for them. I'm a huge Vlad Jr. fan. And I like this card. This is a very nice-looking card. There's Key Brian Hayes. 
who uh, coming into this year was highly regarded as one of the top rookies you could find. Um, hasn't really performed this year. Still a lot of upside. Still very, very young. But most 2020 rook 2021 rookies have underperformed, in my opinion. There's Jazz Chisholm rookie card. Tyler Soderstrom's a first-round pick, and there he is. This guy's going to be an absolute star. Julio Rodriguez, he's already kind of got the bling right there. Look at that necklace flying up there. Check out his minor league stats. It's from this year. Crazy, crazy good minor league numbers. It probably could have been brought up to the major leagues like a couple months ago. When Jared Kelnick was brought up, like when was that, like May? J-Rod probably should have been there right, right with him. Richard, here's your other box. Make sure there's nothing hiding in there. Sometimes those packs, maybe one pack will try to cling on there. I don't want to toss a box away and be down a pack. Seems like the autograph comes in the middle of each box. We've got one full box left after this. Tomorrow's Throwback Thursday. I'm actually thinking about maybe doing my um, finest flashback tomorrow. I've been waiting on this second box. I have two boxes that I ordered. <coughs> um... And um, the post office has had possession for like three days now. It's like, when are you going to get around to dropping this off, guys? So um, maybe if I don't have it, I'm just going to end up doing the one box tomorrow. I, I thank Chris and James Douglas for their patience because I've been wanting to open that for a while. There's Taylor Trammell. Javi Baez out of 250. Still in his Cubs uniform there, so who knows when these were printed. Maybe a couple months ago. Definitely Possibly at least before the trade deadline, they were finalized. And look at this. Holy cow, Richard. This is Leover Piguero. We've talked about this before. He had a first Bowman uh, card that was an error. They didn't put this little insignia on there, so they are making it up for it right now. And that is a monster hit right there. Leover Piguero, a top-rated prospect in the Pirate system. It is a speckle autograph. Now, since this literally just came out today, I don't know if I can get you any comps on eBay um, for this out of $299. I'll try and see. I see one out of $499. I just typed it in. Sold for $250, best offer, um, just minutes ago, and one that wasn't even paralleled sold for one thirty, just a regular base auto. So, this being out of two ninety nine, you might have yourself, I don't know, a four hundred dollar card right here, maybe. Beautiful card right there, Richard. Keep that one safe. I'll get it all nice and taken care of for you. That's a great hit right there. That's probably end, going to end up being the best hit of this preview video, and we'll be looking for more big hits a little bit later tonight. As we go through the rest of these cards, we've got, well, oh, there's Wander Franco. How about the Rays missing Wander? I mean, they're, uh, I think they're a sub-500 team in the month of September right now. They've cooled off a bit without Wander. Of course, he's hurt. Hopefully, he's back for the playoffs. There is Bobby Witt. Interesting little um, <laughs> facial expression by Bobby Witt. Big-time prospect and Austin Hendrick with a big-time swing right there. Looking for good things for him. So, Richard... Congratulations and looking for big time things for Oscar, our final participant in this preview video for Bowman Chrome. Now, if you're wondering about the price point of these, they are about two hundred and ten dollars. I think they're like two hundred nine per master box on all the the, uh, the big sites like Steel City and Blowout Cards. After tax, at least in Pennsylvania, we have six percent tax here, so you're going to be tacking on about. $12, $13 of tax onto that, so about $220-some dollars per box. Now, Tops dropped these today, and as always with Tops, you can get it for a lot cheaper. Sometimes it's uh, as high as almost half off when you buy directly from Tops. They had their boxes in $180, which wasn't too much of a savings. I mean, most of us probably would have liked to have seen that around $149. I thought about buying a couple additional boxes, but... Um, I figured I have enough for everybody that wants to be in the break. We, like I said, we started the day with still an entire case left over, up for grabs. And I also believe I will be doing a Saturday showdown case break with um, all of these. The whole case up for grabs. So there's 12 boxes in a case. Let's just shoot a round number of uh, $200 per master box. You're looking at roughly a $2,500 case or so, if my quick math is correct. So a lot on the line in the Saturday showdown. 
Oscar Medina is up next. Let's go ahead and see what we can find in his first. There's Yoki Cespedes. That is a good one once again. Tristan Casas, Mike Trout, and here comes a nice one. J-Rod, I was just glowing about him earlier. That's out of 150. Congratulations on that one. Very, very good card right there. A speckle refractor of Yo Hendrick Pinango out of 299 is your hit. It's a first. Now, personally, I'm still getting to learn some of these newer prospects we're finding in here. So I'm going to do a quick search and see what this will go for on eBay. Um, I see that none have sold yet, unless I typed his last name in wrong, which I did not. I typed in Pinango Autograph, and there's none listed. So the jury's still out. If you're a Cubs fan, help me out. Let me know a little bit about him. There's really no record on him. He's been around, uh, signed by the Cubs in 2018 as a free agent, I guess. So I don't know. We'll put that aside. Pedro Leon, there's Miguel Blaise again. Already pulled his autograph. Looks like there might be a Shimmer Refractor coming up. There it is, Matthew Libitor, Austin Hendrick again. It's kind of been an Austin Hendrick show. They probably got at least three or four of his cards. C.J. Abrams is a very nice prospect from the Padres. And what's up with the Padres, man? I picked the Padres at the beginning of the season to make the playoffs and eventually go the whole way to the World Series, and I am sorely disappointed in those bums. Um, man, it's just been very, very disappointing. I, I had the White Sox and Padres. I had the White Sox winning the World Series. I'm going to stick to that. White Sox have cooled off a little bit, but they're definitely going to run away with that division in the Central. I've got the White Sox winning it. I'm going to stick to that. I'm going to probably have to, when the season ends, I'll give you a new pick. I mean, I guess. But um, I will stick to my original pick of the White Sox winning it. So they're just going to do it against somebody else. Season's pretty much over for the Padres right now. Sorry, Padres fans. But uh, deep down in your heart, you know it's true. Here is Oscar's final mini box. Let's see what we can find in here. And then we'll wrap it up and um, anxiously await the live stream break of two cases of this product. Let's see what we can find. We have Yo Hendrick Pinango as the first one. And so far, I think every autograph that we've pulled has been a position player, not a single pitcher auto. And I probably just jinxed it, but we'll see what happens here in this last box. So there's Fernando Tatis Jr. We've got a pink coming up. Randy Rosarena, likely rookie of the year. How about a Jason Dominguez? What a nice couple parallels you got. The J Rod and now a Jason Dominguez pink out of 199. I like how these put the number on the front so I don't have to flip them over. That'll make it easier when I do the showdown. With all the numbered cards on the front. And of course, I jinxed it. It's a Kyle Hurt pitcher auto first, though, which is good. So Kyle Hurt is the final autograph of the video. We'll check out the rest of the way, though. We got Oswald Parasa. That's a green out of 99. There's Blaze Jordan. That's a big name in the prospect circles. Brady Singer rookie card. There's Leover Peguero. Get used to that name. He's going to be a sought-after prospect. Brett Beatty, former sought-after prospect. I remember everybody being about him a couple years ago. Nice Austin Martin right there. And the last card is going to be J.J. Blade, another former first-rounder. So, Oscar, thank you very much. Thank you to everybody out there watching. I really appreciate you guys checking out this new release. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know who the top prospects are that we should be looking out for tonight. I know the Pirates have one on that list that, uh, besides the layover Peguero, which is a very, very nice name, there's also a guy named Shailene Polanco that we'll be looking after. So that'll do it for today. Again, or not today, we'll be back live tonight. But let me know in the comments what you think about Bowman Chrome. If you ripped any, how'd you do? Who's the top prospects we should be looking out for? Let's discuss that. And uh, I will see all of you tonight in the live stream. Good night, everybody.